raw sienna that you can see through here on the sky. And then we had blue and we had neutral tint mixed in there. And we continued that down uh, mixed with raw sienna to the furthest distant greenery, vegetation and trees. This is not these trees, but those way in the back. So we put those in first, <clears throat> and then we started working forward. The, the, the yeah, vegetation and bushes here and here, and then uh, further down to the uh, foreground, we put some more thicker brush in here and, uh, and grass, and then the texture of the land and grass across the field and then we put in real light distant trees we actually started up here see these trees here <clears throat> and as we went further away they reduced they got smaller and smaller same here started bigger here and then as we went further away it got smaller and you have the foliage, as you can see. And then we put in the big trees here to give it more depth, showing that it's up closer and they're bigger, these trees. And then we put in their foliage as well. <clears throat> and there we have it. This is a real easy one, I think, for a beginner, uh, just to kind of get a feel for the brush and the colors and what they can do. Of course, I use the Hake brush, spelled H-A-K-E. It's kind of a looser style drawing. It's called loose watercolor. And I really like doing those. And there you go. Just wanted to share that with you. Please follow along. You know, get your you know, replay this, get your paints out, and give it a try. That's a real easy one for beginners. Okay, well, thanks. We'll talk to you another time. Bye.